You want to think? Honestly, I think the last time I, I preached was in Kentucky from where I was. <laughs> That was a month or so, more than a month ago at this point. Slacker. Time flies. You know, I think that's one of the many tools that, that the devil has for us is distraction and busyness and yeah, absolutely. just keeping our lives get so too busy. busy sometimes. You just keep keep your mind off of him. Mm. You know, it's the Lord has done so much for us and Amen. you all pray for a few minutes and if the Lord will use me, that's right. And I'll preach. Lord, I pray. As long as He'll Same want me to. But if not, then I'll get out of the way, and Jeremy or Dad or a couple of somebody can come. But the Lord is is so good to us. Yeah. You know, and we're just so we're so weak in this world here. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of times, like Shad was saying, we feel like, you know, we're on top of the world, and, and we're as good as we can get, and we've done. Look at what I've done. Yeah. You know, how many times do, do we get to feel that way? You know, I thought it was funny when I was in my hotel this past week out towards the coast working and I was talking to Dad. And we were talking about work and stuff and, and he said, you know, he was joking with me about engineers and, and talking about he doesn't like having them in his meetings because you can't tell them anything because how can you improve a system that they've designed? <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and it's funny. It, it? It's funny because you know we can get that way a lot of times in this world uh, with with things that we do sure. because we're flawed. Absolutely. We're flawed, but you know what? A lot of times when we need to approach it that way with church as well because how can we think that a Creator that is perfect in everything that He does that we can that we can improve upon a system or something that He has right. set? Yeah. And he's established here in this world. Yep. Oh, why? But you know what? But what we need to do is just be about his business and submit to him and love him. Yeah. And the peace that he's mm, given us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why, you know, and he's, he's just so good today. He's just looking for you to come down to him and to look to him. Oh, why? And just to submit yourself to him and his ways because his ways are perfect. Amen. Oh, oh yeah. why? Every time that I think I can just do, maybe if I do this, I'll be a little bit better and things will be all right. Oh, why? And it's not very long and I get myself down into trouble here. Oh, why? But if you come with meekness, oh, why? If you come with a humble heart, then whatever your gifts are in this world, I oh, he'll bless them so much. Oh, why? You'll grow in this yeah. Just, oh, why the little seed that's yeah. planted under the ground, it'll begin. I want to get a little bit of water here. Yeah. Uh, it'll begin to get a little sunshine. I uh, want if you'll let it sit. Yeah. If you'll be patient and you'll watch and let it grow. I uh, want my Lord, uh, He'll give the increase. I uh, want until the ground can't hold it anymore. I uh, want it'll burst through. I uh, want to start to grow up in you. I uh, want you look at the trees as they grow. I uh, why they'll twist and they'll turn. I uh, why they'll just go. I'm uh, trying to get as close as they can uh, out of the sunshine. I yeah, yeah. uh, why because that's what they're seeking today. Uh, yeah, why, yeah. No matter what, yeah. I'm so full of you that's in the way. I uh, why just find a way uh, how to get around it today. I uh, why just keep on. I uh, why look into the sun today. Yeah. Uh, why my God. I uh, why he holds all things in the yeah. palm of his yes, hand. Because he's so good to us today, he always knows exactly what I need, and he always has. You know what? 
Well, I'm Apostle Paul, he went all over this world. Mm. Or all over where he was over there in their known world, I guess. Yep. Yeah. I'm just preaching and, and praying and singing and establishing churches all over the place. Oh, why? But you know what? We're only humans in this in this world here. Oh, why? And I, when I read his writings and his things, it seems like he's got an awful big ego sometimes. Huh? Yeah. Oh, why? Because I feel like he knew what the Lord was looking for, oh, yeah. and he was willing to stand for that, Papa, oh, even yeah. if it meant it was kind him of being drugged through the mud of, here yeah. today. Yeah. Oh, I it says that him and Barnabas, they went and they were preaching all over the place. Uh, I, and when they came back, Paul said, uh, let's go to all the churches that we've already been to uh, yeah. and re-strengthen them again. Uh, oh, yeah, him and Barnabas, uh, oh, they got into an awfully heated argument there uh, about what to do. Uh, oh, and it says it was so heated that they decided to just uh, oh, not be together anymore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you go your way and preach, and I'll go mine. Uh, sometimes, uh, oh, I, you know, I'll say, okay, I love you. Uh, but let's just go over here. Uh, I'm going to keep serving the Lord. Uh, he was doing what he thought was best. Uh, oh, and he took Silas with him. Uh, oh, and they went down. Uh, oh, I began to preach. And from city to city there, uh, oh, I just brought them uh, out of a little city. Uh, oh, I have full of pie. Oh, I there down. Uh, oh, I down in one of the little uh, oh, I areas that he'd been to. Uh, oh, I and Paul. Uh, they were going around. Uh, oh, I down. Uh, there came a little woman, a uh, wife who was, a yeah. uh, wife she was a soothsayer, a uh, fortune oh. teller, a uh, wife she was following Paul around, uh, and Silas there, a uh, wife just shouting, saying, a uh, wife uh, these men, a uh, wife uh, they come, a uh, wife from God to the a wife but, a wife no but, a wife after a couple days, a uh, wife Paul had had enough, a wife uh, yeah. uh, said, a uh, wife demon, a uh, wife come yeah. out of her every day, a uh, wife just like that, uh, she was brought Oh, I down into her right mind. Oh, I bud. Oh, I there were some men there. Uh, maybe I know this woman. Oh, I that. I could tell fortune. Yeah. Oh, I could see the future. Oh, I bud. Oh, I she couldn't do it anymore. I so they took me on silence. Oh, I down in the middle of the village there uh, to their leaders and yeah. said, Oh, I these men. Oh, I they're Jews today. Um, they come to stir up trouble. Oh, I pull. Oh, I just stood there. In the middle of the court there, oh, and they took Paul and Silas uh, and took him down into the inner part of the jail yeah. there. Oh, 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 you know, oh, I said that. Oh, oh, they were in the stocks. Oh, oh, their hands and their feet were bound. Yeah. And yes, they were they just are. sitting there. Oh, oh, probably next to each other. Oh, and they said, about midnight, yeah. oh, they began to sing. Oh, yeah. they began And it says, shortly after midnight, there was a big earthquake right there in the center of that prison. And all the doors opened up yeah. to the prison. Why, and all the stocks fell off and all the chains, uh, they hit the floor. Oh, and all the prisoners were free and they came in. Oh, and Paul and Silas yep. there. Oh, and they just kind of huddled together well. Oh, uh, and the jailer there, he was awfully worried. Oh, yeah, yeah. uh, and if you remember, Oh, I was down in jail, and the, oh, I, the Holy Ghost came and led him up. Yeah. Oh, I out of jail there. Oh, they took those jailers and they killed them all. Yeah, oh, I, you know, oh, I, the Romans were crazy.
cruel. Yes, oh, why they, they try to introduce yes, something? Oh, you better do it. Oh, why not say oh, this man was worried about his family and about yeah. him and yeah. what they do. And he said he saw how oh, that the doors were yeah. open and the men were gone. Oh, and he took out his sword and was going to kill, kill himself. Oh, why? Because. Oh, why? You are scared there, Jeremy. Yeah, oh, why? And Paul cried out. Oh, why? Don't worry. Oh, why? We're all right here. Yeah, oh, come on in. Oh, we're having church. Yeah. Oh, we're having a good time. Oh, why? The jailer. Yeah. I came right over to her. Oh, why? I said, I oh, why? Must I? Oh, why? Do that I can be yeah. saved. It doesn't end right there. It says the jailer, mm -hmm. he took Paul and Silas, yeah, took and he took them to his own home, washed him. and he washed their wounds. Yeah, oh, why were he? Well, you know what? He had striped their bodies with the whip, and he washed them. And oh, his dog. whole family was gathered in there, and it says that old Paul, he took them down to the river. Yeah, yeah. Oh, why did he baptize yeah. him? And baptized his whole family. Yeah, yeah. And then Paul, oh, well, he went right back to the prison where he is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because of oh, the next day, oh, why would they heard oh, yeah. what had happened? And then these men were down there. Oh, why the royal people came down and said, let them go. Oh, sneak Paul and Silas. Oh, I out of our city. Oh, we don't want anyone. I didn't know they were here. Oh, why would Paul said, I oh, know. Oh, I'm right here. Oh, I'm not going to leave. Oh, I quietly. You know, we may not be bound with physical chains, you know, with bondage here in this world, but there's things that are fighting against us. Oh, yeah. There's people that want to silence us, Jeremy. Yeah. Oh, why there's still miracles? Why do we have faith that we can heal, that we can praise people from the dead today? You know what I believe? It's this world that, that silences us and dumps down our faith a little bit, Dad. Why sometimes I feel like I can move a mountain. Yeah. And then sometimes I feel like I'm not worthy to That's even right. speak my Lord's name. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, why? And it's just me. It's not Him. My Lord is as strong as He ever was here in this thing. Oh, why, you know, He promised us comfort in this world. Yeah. Amen. You know, I was talking to a guy, another engineer out of the, out of the mine. Uh, this week, he was an older guy, and we were just talking uh, about cancer, and actually about uh, Chad, our co-worker, his mother-in-law with cancer and stuff, and, and you know, we started talking about church a little bit, Papo, and I told him about your story, mm. and when you had cancer, and, and when they went down to do surgery, and, and the doctors were just amazed, you know what, that it seemed... Mm. It wasn't nearly what they thought it was. Right. Oh, I just the power of prayer, and you know. Amen. Oh, and he told me that he had an old friend. Oh, I think it was at church one time. This guy. Oh, when I was talking to, he was up. He's in his mid sixties, I guess. Oh, and he said, you know, there was a man that I used to go to church with, and he was an older guy, and he had cancer real bad, and they, it was eating him up, you know, and he had a colostomy bag and and everything, and he was just holding on, Brother Shad, and they told him he didn't have long. Oh, why it seemed like as soon as he went down into the hospital, it was just over with. Yeah. Oh, why I said we all gathered around, and oh, why he was asking for prayer, and he said, I'm ready to go home, bud. Yeah. Oh, why don't let yeah. me, oh, why just pray that I don't leave. <laughs> oh, why the world like this, in this kind of shape here, I uh, said, I just want to go home. Yeah. Oh, why I said, oh, why they laid hands on him. Oh, why they prayed for him. Oh, why just as hard as they could. Yeah. Oh, why, you know, oh, that was supposed to be his last night on this earth. Oh, they had come to save 
say goodbye. Oh, I bud. Oh, I said. Oh, why the next day you woke up and he was still there. Oh, why the next day I uh, woke up again and he was getting stronger and stronger. Yeah. Dad. Oh, and said finally. Oh, why the doctors came and said, Oh, well, it's time for you to go home. Oh, why, you know. And they just sent him on home. And they said, Oh, why, it's just a day later. He was laying in his bed. Oh, and they were talking. He had his family and his kids all around. And he just went to sleep. Oh, yeah. and he never oh, woke back yeah. up. Oh, why, he went home. Yeah. Oh, why, he was happy. How to lay his yeah. heart there. Yeah. Oh, why, at that moment, there me. Yeah. He gave his children oh, one more opportunity. That's right. Oh, I That's see right. what the Lord oh, has done for me. Oh, why, I got, I got to go away. Yeah. I got to prepare. Good. Yeah, that's very good. good. Very good. I've missed 
this little church and all of the brothers and sisters and get to see everybody. We've got worries and heartaches in this world, but they're for this world alone. They're temporary. We're just passing through. What's a hundred years in this world compared to eternity? The church doors are open today. If there is anybody who doesn't know the Lord,